Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent, past, present, past, present, and future immediately and permanently I call in only the purest of white light for you all and pray that you reside only in the highest of vibrational energy always. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. All right, let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on in our tarot reading. Um, so we are starting out with the three of pentacles out here. There's a collaboration that has been going on. A community is having foresight um of someone in high honor or something that has to do with your resources and things like that someone is emotionally imbalanced what i'm assuming is that there's a woman of high honor behind the scenes that is going through a lot of emotional turmoil she may have i don't know if this is like a lover or whoever this is that they are not seeing eye to eye there is some type of conflict going on between these two lovers this could be a woman that already has a partner but this is her side piece or whatever this is um maybe this is the person she was trying to send towards another energy to have them do something to you do you something trap you in some type of toxic relationship you know want you down you down you get you locked knocked up and then get the heck away from you and then that'll be their victory because now someone else cannot come in to give you some type of offer for you the divine either divine masculine divine feminine you do have a new a uh, partnership that's coming in and this could be with work this could be with finances this could be with love um but you do have a new offer that is coming in also there is something going on with a group of people where they are they now have foresight or some type of understanding about a situation and why it's been playing out the way it's been playing out two people have been uh, like a Bonnie and Clyde kind of team has been working together to dismantle or destroy someone's possibility of having victory. These people have been plotting uh, the whole time behind the scenes. And this is with a group of friends that have been taking a lot of impulsive and reckless actions behind the scenes to what block your finances block your new beginnings block any love offers have you living in fear block any type of happiness or growth for you they don't want anyone seeing you as a love love option making any decision to bring justice or balance into a situation they don't want people seeing you as someone that is uh, a balance someone that's like an ascendant master someone that is you know very powerful and assertive within themselves. They don't want you being seen that way. They don't want to want you being seen as strong, moving forward in victory. Like this is the, there's a, there's a group of people behind the scenes. And if it was up to them, this would be you 24 seven down and out. Like you make plans to do things in your life, invest into things that you know you are passionate about. You go ahead and take those uh, risks and thing like, things like that, take a different path. Uh, you know, like bet on yourself because you can never go wrong with betting on yourself. But they want you to invest and it never turns into anything. Um, there could be someone in this group that is sick and this is karma. However, while these people are going through karma, because there's a king of pentacles that's being either re, uh, uh, exiled or excommunicated from a community or he's losing some type of job or something like that. If someone's finances has either been depleted or is being depleted, like someone does not have the security that they had before. You have a queen of swords that's going to be either locked up or someone is like stuck in her mind and losing her mental because there's something she's been planning for a long time to do to someone and it's not uh, turning out the way she thought it would. It's that someone meticulously planning your ending and separating you from people 
And so if you are like in a community with this woman, she would have been doing things behind the scenes to make this community see you in some type of light that was not honest. It was not true. Okay. So there's some type of reality. This woman was trying to put you in and now she's in it because people may be walking away because now they have a higher understanding of what's going on and the ramifications of what's going to be happening to them if they stay on this path. Some of them are already going through karma, but there is someone in here that is still a narcissist and still determined to defeat you. And they will be taking some type of uh, impulsive action to communicate with you. Uh, you could be a queen of pentacles that is immensely gifted, very intuitive, direct connection with source and things like that. You know, this is one of my favorite cards in the deck. And the reason why I like the high priestess is like, the high priestess is someone that's like just connected to source automatically. They don't have to go to anyone in between like the higher fin. The higher fin may have to go to like talk to people in their community, in their religion and things like that. Like their power, there's some type of limit to their power. But the high priestess is not limited in any way. At any time she can talk to source. At any time she can connect with the uh, uh, spirit realm unlike the higher fin. The higher fin is more so like religious and whereas the high, high, uh, high priestess is spiritual. So there's a some type of limitation on what the higher fin can do. But the high priestess, there's no limits, right? This is someone immensely powerful. Everything that they need, they eat, they go within because you connect with source by going within, okay? Um, so she, whoever this is, she, he, this group, there's someone in here that is absolutely still determined to defeat you. So they may want to communicate with you, want to do something to end up in your energy. Or they are pissed off that someone wants to apologize to you, the Queen of Pentacles, who is a high priestess. You are listening to your intuition and you have foresight of who you're supposed to be partnering up with, right? Whoever is coming towards you or whoever wants to come in to trick you, they know that you are aware of what's been going on behind the scenes. So they have to thread with caution because there you go with this sword pulled out. Like, I don't have time for the nonsense today. There's a queen of pentacles going through an ending and we've been warning you time and time again on this page to back off, cut your losses, stop doing something you're doing, but you're a narcissist. You don't know how to let go. This is your future. Again, this is your future. This is your future. It comes out every time. Go back and watch the videos. This has always been your future and this has always been your future. Way down, burden out in the cold, living in poverty, losing everything. You thought you had money to keep something going for a long time. This goes our higher fin. There could be someone like a religious leader within a community that's taking some type of action to balance things out. This could be like an emperor or something like that in a... Um, in a community and they could have something to do with this karmic group or whoever this is that came together to destroy you. Like these people were plotting on you for a long time. For some of you, these people were possibly even plotting to have you locked up for things that you had nothing to do with. There's a king of cups. People have been plotting on or people were plotting on. And hopefully you took the action to protect yourself because if you will have gotten caught up or if you did get caught up in something, it is something that's an inside job. So someone has connections like uh, uh, illegal connections into like the police or the justice system or something like that. And they are misusing that connection or that access to have you bonded or locked up or something like that. And this is what we were trying to prevent from happening to you. But if you didn't listen, then you know there's some type of lesson you need to learn. So you, you're going to have to go through that period um, and learn the lesson so that when you come out, you will learn how to trust your intuition that when something doesn't feel right, it's off. OK, but I remember I had a dream that a man was being set up. Um, someone tried to put something in his bag to set him up so it could look like he took something, stole something, whatever this is. OK, for someone out there, a light worker, man, woman, divine feminine, divine masculine. There's something where it's that people need you to be like an extrovert. Like they need you out and about. They need you needing, they need you wanting to go to like events and things like that because there's something where they want to invite you so they can re start some type of reignite some type of karma cycle. Okay. It says someone wants to invite you to like an event, but you are invited, but you're not welcome. So you go there and nobody's really interacting with you. They're acting like you're not there. It's because they want you to feel rejected. The only thing is like, 
our people in our community, the spiritual community, we don't really like being in a lot of social events like high priestesses, empresses, uh, higher fence and things like that. We don't like being at a lot of social events. Like one social event a year for me, that's good. I don't need nothing else. I don't want to go out to drink with you. I don't even really drink. Um, I don't want to go out to the club with you. I don't club. I don't want to go to a banquet with you. I can eat at home. The food's dry anyway. I don't like sandwiches like that. I don't want to go anywhere with you. Music concerts, I can watch it on YouTube. I don't care about stuff like that. So I always try to see other light workers through that perspective. It's that, hey, yeah, I'm in this community. I'm on this journey. And I know I don't like going to social events. I don't like being around people. So I'm going to assume that most of the people in my community, the, so, the uh, spiritual community, like especially people that do divination, they probably don't even want to be at these social events either. Like they'll go if they want to. But if like their spirit don't feel like they ain't going nowhere and they don't feel like they're missing out on anything because they're too focused on things that have to do with like high vibrational activities because a lot of the times they already know what it is people are planning for them and i'm telling you they were planning on inviting you so that you could feel rejected and isolated have you trapped in your mind like well why would they invite me if they don't want to you know socialize with me and it's like nah they don't care like high priestesses they don't care about stuff like that i don't know the thing is like people that are in the dark people that don't have a a understanding of who they are and how the world the universe actually work they are really under some type of illusion because that veil of uh th that veil is still up there right so because the veil is up for them and they don't understand life from different perspective they have a limited understanding of how people really are they think or feel that if People do those kind of things to them. It will bother them. They assume that it'll bother a light worker. It'll bother a high priestess. When you when you don't talk to a high priestess, they don't care. They ain't losing no sleep over it. The last thing a high priestess cares about is your opinion of them. I kid you not. Any high priestess that's actually on their journey and in their purpose if they want to be blunt with you, they'll tell you, I don't give two hits about your opinion of me. They don't care. So they don't care you like them, you don't like them. They don't care you invite them, you don't invite them. It, that's like childish stuff because they have better things to worry about. Like these are people that are worried about making sure that they're fulfilling their purpose. They're on the right life path and things like that on their journey. Right? And a lot of them are really just here to help raise the vibration. So as long as they're fulfilling their purpose that's all they care about they don't care about you inviting them or you uh, uh, uh seeing them in a specific light even you go around telling people that's not a real high priestess man or woman they don't care they don't lose sleep over stuff like that and that's what a lot of dark workers don't understand these these men and women doing their job by uh by means of the spirit realm calling them to do that they don't care what you think you're wasting your time okay you're wasting your time so you have a dark group up here. There's a, a, a woman of high honor in here. You could be this woman of high honor, but what you are reflecting is different from what another woman of high honor, high honor in a community is reflecting. It's that like someone is being exposed in you, that people are seeing the truth about you, that you are someone of high honor. And then there's another woman in a community that's been pretending to be someone of high honor and they're seeing that she's emotionally imbalanced. She's someone that's not, I don't know, creative, gifted or anything. Like someone has just been pretending. It's like someone wanting to pretend to be everything. Like I got the money, I got the clothes, I got the connections and I have the gift. She don't got the gift. Don't got no dreams or aspirations. The only dreams someone has is to keep living a bougie life that she's never earned. That's all it is. Okay, this could be her lover that is uh, that she's sending to go and sneak someone to block their victory, to steal someone's victory. Okay, um, this could be someone that has been watching you. Like both of these people have been watching you for a long time and planning on how they can come into your energy to sneak you and things like that. You could have uh, also where it's that she 
uh, uh, knows or they know now this king of cups, if they send him towards you, he's not an option for you. So you're going to reject him before he even says hello. That's like someone opening their mouth to say, hey, goodbye. Is that we don't got time for this nonsense. Okay. We don't got time. We don't got time. We don't got time. Like you already knew. So he's going to have to hold back because he's not able to come in and cause you any type of delusions, illusions, whatever he want to call it. Because they know you have some type of, I'm telling you, you have some type of new abundance, new beginning coming in that's going to be full of a lot of opportunities for you. You are a star seed and it's causing some type of tower for these people. They're going to have to cause some type of ceasefire or something. They are like at a still mate. Okay, there could be someone in here that's trying to block someone from coming in to give you an offer because what they know this person does not have any genuine intentions for you. Um, they are really just coming in to have some type of attachment to your abundance, to your uh, um, your blessings and things like that, your resources. So what if someone is speaking the truth about how a group has been paying to have you isolated or someone has been paying to have you isolated and rejected, paying to have you on a life and things like they're living in fear so that you can miss out on some type of opportunity that is destined for you. Again, hear the word in there, destined. It's destined for you. I'm telling you, it's destined for you. You are destined to receive communications about your blessings. There's some type of truth that has been illuminated that has someone living in fear or a group of people living in fear because now people know that this group of friends were taking actions and things like that behind the scenes to cause you towers, stalemates, endings, difficulties, complications, all kinds of stuff. Uh, tricking people not to see the truth, causing illusions and things like that about a star seed, a light worker, because they didn't want you having some type of brand new passionate beginning. They don't want you to have unlimited uh, uh, options in the universe because the two of wands has to do with you being, with you having unlimited options when it comes to your abundance, your paths and things like that. You've done the work to be here. This is why the spirit realm says that where your possibilities are limitless. Anything you hope for, anything you dream of, anything you desire, they have no problems fulfilling those. Look at that. The star, the two of wands, the freaking the fool out here. Like you're, you are like your, your abundance, like your access to the spirit realm. You co-creating with the universe. Like, you have like some type of unlimited access into the universe that you can at any time make a request and they give it to you. Anything you plan, they support. They support you. And ain't nobody going to get it because they're protecting it and keeping it safe for you. So when it's time for you to receive it, all you got to say what? Do is what? Say the word and they're giving it to you. All you got to do is say the word because they know you're someone of high honor. Someone with integrity. There's a queen of uh, swords. Baby, I don't told you. We told you. We don't told you repeatedly. Maybe because we didn't review what it is you were planning on doing. You said you can still do it. Nah. You're about to be put out of a community. I don't know if you're going through like a divorce. or I don't think it's a divorce. What I think is you are being put out, out of a community because you're causing too much work. It's, it's like people are wanting to move on with their lives. But there is an emotionally and mentally imbalanced woman or man that wants to keep going with something. It's that people have, like the group has foresight now. The, the group has foresight of what's really going to take place or what's going on, how something is going to go, go on to end. So they want to move on with their lives. But you have a queen of swords behind the scenes that still wants to keep going because she's determined to take an empress down. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's not working out in your favor. There is no uh, uh, dimension where you go to where it's going to work out for you. I'm telling you, it's not going to work out for you. So now she's trapped in her mind about you receiving an offer from someone in the upright. This is a higher fan. You and this person are like, like you and a higher fan coming together or whatever this is, whether this is in love or in relation uh, uh, in business. It's two different worlds coming together. And this came out in one of my readings. A higher fin and a, a, a high priestess a, a, a teaming up to come together. There is something about this higher fin, right? Is that someone is 
finally waking up and choosing to embrace their spiritual side as well. Like someone has been spiritual for a long time, but they've always denied that aspect of themselves. Why? Because what is contradictory to what it is they believe they are supposed to believe in or stand for. So they've always maybe denied that aspect of themselves. But someone is in the upright in a community or that is aware of a situation that's been taking place and they may be taking actions, right? By listening to their intuition to bring balance. Like they're taking charge of this situation because they know that there's some type of ritual, some type of hindrances, some type of secret that's been going on. And it has a lot to do with an, a, a king of pentacles coming in to give someone an offer and he's going for it. He's going for it. This man has manifested a whole new beginning with an empress. So I don't know what the heck these people are going to do, but the higher fan or the leader, I think this is like a religious leader or something is taking actions to, he's taking actions to balance something out. Maybe even walking away from a community of people. And this is going to cause some type of tower for them. And it's going to lead to some type of financial loss. There's something here about a marriage or relationship that's coming to an end. There could be some type of court case going on. This queen of swords I mentioned. There you go, honey. Burdens, poverty, overwhelm. You will be put out of a community. You're about to be weighed down in ways that you cannot even imagine. And this chapter is over. You won't be able to return to a community after something happens to you because you're a narcissist and people are seeing that people are see like someone said, this woman is dumb, man. I'm sick of her. What the heck is wrong with her? I got to go something like that. So you're about to lose everything. You could have already lost everything because you're so determined to block two people from meeting. They're meeting. You're, block, you're trying to block someone from seeing another energy as wish fulfillment. They see them as wish fulfillment. You don't want them receiving a commitment. They're receiving a commitment. A queen of pentacles will be receiving a commitment. This is the empress still... Empress showing up in her queen of pentacles energy. And when, if she's showing up in her queen of pentacles energy, this means that you all got together and told someone that a woman was on scale. Look at that. She's skilled. She's skilled. A woman is skilled out here. Or oh, this could be a man as well. Cause you know, energy is fluid in tarot. She's skilled. They said someone was incompetent. They didn't know what they were doing. Uh, they had some type of mental situation going on. Like they told someone, you collective, you were mentally unstable. You were mentally retarded or something like that. I don't like using that word, but that's what they were telling people out here. And then only for people to find out because people are choosing to go within only for them to find out that, Hey, that's not true. That person is not mentally retarded. Like this person know a little bit more than we do. Heck, I think we're on the wrong team. And then there's something where people are realizing it's like everything we plan to do, this person already knows. So it's like we're kind of going against the grind, like you're pedaling upstream against the, the, the current. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Have you ever seen the uh, Simon? Uh, when, uh, is this uh, the, those fish, the uh, Simon fish? When they are migrating upstream, you see how difficult it is for the, like, if you've never seen it, watch them, how hard it is for them to make it upstream. There's some type of migration, like the, the, the salmon species does yearly. Okay. They, they swim upstream, I think to go and have their babies or something. Um, a lot of them don't make the journey because one it's a difficult journey to make right? Either it's the, the salmon or the uh, um, sardines. I don't remember which one it was, but I'm, I bet my money is the, it's the salmon that do this migration where they go upstream to um, have their babies. But that journey is a long one. By the time they get there, a lot of them have passed away because, you know, the polar bears, I mean, yeah, the bears, they like to, the brown bears like to eat a, 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 those fish and things like that. But the journey to get upstream is extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult. So it's that this is what you all are doing. It's like going against the grind, going against the natural flow of things. 
you're basically in like a canoe and you're trying to force yourself to go upstream, but you know the canoe is not meant to go up there. It's supposed to be going downwards because what the current of the river is going downwards, so it's easier for you to go that direction. But there's a lunatic in a community, a queen of swords, two and two don't add up for her. She's like that two and two, not no, the two and two, not knowing what the F it is going to be. So because she don't know what it is, she don't want people self-actualizing. This is what she don't want you all self-actualizing and seeing the truth. So she has something, some type of vendetta she's still trying to fodder. So she has all of you out here trying to pack yourself in a little canoe. We're going to paddle upstream and we're going to make sure this person don't achieve at their, don't arrive at their destiny. They're not going to receive any type of offers in life. It's not going to happen like that, darling. The people around you know it's not happening like that. They know every time they've taken some type of action, some type of uh, direction to cause whoever this is, this light worker, an ending, it has backfired and it's going to keep backfiring. Something may have worked in the beginning when you all started working together. You may have had some type of success in doing it. There ain't no success. Someone is not focused on you all. They're focused on themselves. Like why you've been out here destroying your own path, thinking you were destroying someone else's path. They've been focused on themselves, staying strong, powering through something. And it has ensured some type of victory for them in love, which is putting an end to someone being juggled and played with and things like that. Because this is what you've been trying to manifest in another person's life. Let me say that again. This is what you've been trying to manifest in another person's life. You don't have the authority to manifest anything into another person's life, especially someone that's awakened. The only people you can manifest karma like these kind of karmic cycles in their lives are people that are not awakened and don't know who they are. But once they know who they are, honey, you got to move on. It ain't working because every action you take is going to cause conflict. Guess what? These two people are still coming together. They will still be healing the world together through what they say, their words and things like that. And queen of swords, there you go again, coming out the scene, way down, burdened, exhausted, poverty, lack of finances. You may be losing a relationship or you're being removed from a community. And I'm going to go with the latter. You are being removed from a community. You're losing everything. If you're not careful, you may be out here begging on the streets. Like, I don't know how else we're supposed to tell you. Like, the universe gives us the download. We tell you all what it is so you can stop doing some stupid stuff out here. But your mind... Your brain cells don't function properly. Why? Because you are seething with a lot of hate. You are very hateful. And you have a group of people around you too that are very hateful. You see people that are in the upright as irrelevant. You said they're not important. They piss you off because there are people that self-actualize. You don't want to self-actualize. But guess what? This group around you, they are doing just that. You don't want them to see things from a higher perspective. You don't want them to heal, which means you are holding up their destiny. You're blocking their forward movement. You're blocking their abundances. I don't know if you went and got with a lot of people that uh, uh, maybe are not from your community or your country. So they need assistance or something. So you've kind of tried to trap them in things that don't have nothing to do with them. Maybe you're blackmailing them that if they don't do something, you're going to uh, uh, expose them and they'll be taken away or deported or something like whatever this is. You are heartless, uh, so this community is self-actualizing. They're moving on. They are moving on because they see the truth now about what also a king of wands has been doing behind the scenes. And he's out here trying to pretend like he's in the upright. You ain't in the upright. You've been paying people to, you've been paying people to cause endings behind the scenes. You've been paying to have someone assassinated because you don't want two people coming together. You say, if she don't love me, Nobody can love her. She can't love anyone else. That's your mindset. You've come up in my readings a couple of times, King of Wands. You are literally out here saying, if she can't love me, if she won't love me, if she's rejecting me, then I'm going to make sure that she can't have fulfillment in life, which is lies. You see how these cards are coming out, right? This star C out here is going to have wish fulfillment. They are going to be abundant. They are abundant. They will have their new beginning. I'm telling you. 
and it will come with a lot of offers and things like that. And you are defeated. Everything you invest in will be a disappointment. You and a king of pentacles in the reverse. Everything you invest in, disappointment. Your king of pentacles partner or whoever this is going through endings. And it ain't ending. It ain't coming to an end anytime soon. Someone is in like a seven or ten year cycle of disappointments. Disappointments. You are like, there's a karmic community and you all watch tarot faithfully. And I realize this is why I keep picking up on your energies. Because you all watch tarot faithfully. This is a whole coving. You get on one channel, you watch, get on the next channel, you watch, get on the next channel, you watch. You're not there to support these terror readers, these uh, 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 divination workers. You're not there to support them. You're there to stop them and cause problems between these terror readers as well. Baby, terror readers, high priestesses, men, all women, masculine, feminine, they are actually in their purpose. They see right through what it is you're doing. They see right where what it is you're doing. Hiking people devices and trying to separate them. Like, hey, you know this high priestess said this about you. No, they didn't because high priestesses that are in the upright, they don't carry themselves that way. They ain't out here talking bad about anyone, anyone, especially another practitioner. They are out here supporting. And the, the meaning you come to them with some type of nonsense, they put an end to that. They dead that situation, block you, disregard you. But the ones that are unsure of themselves are the ones that will entertain nonsense where people come to them and say, hey, you know, this high priest just said this about you. She's copying your content. He's copying your content. Whole time, that person ain't copying nothing from you. They may even just be supporting your platform. So when you go to the right high priestess and you say nonsense to them, they're going to put an end to it and say, get off my channel, get off my platform. What do you do? You go and create well, a new account so that you can keep stalking them, trying to get into, the, into their energy. Because your karmic is like, this is what a karmic community has been doing. They think they're sending good news to other practitioners that, hey, this high priestess is copying your, how can you copy someone's content as a reader? First of all. How? Like you can pull on the energy, but you can't really copy someone else's content. Now, if you get out here and start saying word for word what other people are saying, then yeah. But if if it's not coming out like that, you got to be mindful. You, like you're trying to force some type of message to apply. But I guarantee you, high priestesses out here that are actually genuinely on their path in their calling, they don't care what who else is doing on their platform. If they click on their platform and they enjoy that person's work, guess what? They just that person just got themselves a new follower, a new supporter. At least that's how I think. That's how I think. You come to me and tell me, oh, someone is lying about you, or they're copying your work. They're uh, trying to block you and things like that. I'll go and watch their channel. If I like it, I say, oh, look at that. Dang, I like that. They're gifted. Oh, you know, I like how they do their stuff. New supporter. If I find out that they are dark, I don't got to watch that. Click off, go on my way. I'm not going to say nothing about it. Nothing. I'm telling you, because what? We be known. Now, look at how this is coming out. <laughs> There's a high priestess that's doing this to other people, trying to block people's offers. She ain't only doing this to one person, and she's come up in my readings before. This is a high priestess that's blocking people's offers, trapped in her mind about other people who are receiving offers. You ain't a real high priestess if this, if this is what you're focused on, because this is not what you're here for. This ain't what you're here for. It's a whole high priestess out here trapping other people's, trying to trap other people's manifestations, block other people's manifestations, lying, cheating, stealing, may even be paying behind the scenes to cause illusions and things like that because she does not want other high priestesses to receive their abundance and blessings. Honey, you cannot be a real high priestess because you know, you got to know that's not how it works. That is not how it works. 
So you can plan and plot all you want, take all the directions you want, right? And partner up with who you want. But these true high priestesses, they're still committed to their past, will still be receiving and improving everything that they need to do. You're wasting your time. She's been out here lying about a queen of pentacles high priestess. And people are finding out this woman is in the upright. This is why you, you, you need to put in effort to find out what it is you are called to do. When you are not called to do something, this is when you come in there trying to compete with everybody else. Trying to prove that you're the best. And I guarantee you, high priestesses that genuinely care about what they do, they're not competing with anyone because they already know who the heck they are. It's like, I already know who I am, what I bring to the table. I don't need to compete with anyone. I don't need to compete because the universe already told me who the heck I am. So the heck am I, the, the F I look like coming out here doing rituals on other people to interfere with their karma, their good karma, wasting my time. The heck. And then the whole time you're doing this, someone is still committed to their work, getting better and better every day because that's what people are supposed to do. Invest in themselves, their skills, their education, their mindset, their heart, healing, all of that. You're out here doing all this nonsense, working with a karmic group behind the scenes. And someone is still committed to their work. Still having wish fulfillment. Still ascending. Still going to be connecting with their soul tribe. Still acquiring knowledge. Still has someone coming in to balance their life out. Because the universe has destined someone to come into Whoever's this is life you're trying to block in order to balance things out. This is why y'all ain't getting no offer because someone sees you all as the dark entities that you are. Dark energies. Like you are being blocked out of someone's energy. Blocked. There's a queen of wands, queen of swords. I don't know what the heck this is. This could be like a group of women they have just come together and commit and created some type of disingenuous friendship. I'm telling you, disingenuous friendship to do rituals together to block karma. And it's leading to nothing but disappointments. I don't know if they're working with an emperor behind the scenes, but whatever actions any of them take, leading to disappointment. And this is judgment by the spirit realm. There is some type of realization or what, that two people will still be meeting being committed and loyal to each other. But these people, these karmics are still plotting to end. King of Wands, you that's been out here committed to blocking someone's fulfillment, talking about if I can't have you, you can't have no new beginning. You may want to throw it with caution because you have legal issues. Oh, you got legal issues coming in. You try to use your illegal connections in the police, right? To have something done to a queen of cups, the whole time the queen of cups that's around you is plotting on your ending. And I want to let you know, whatever you're plotting for a light worker, it ain't coming into fulfillment. It's going to be a disappointment for you. Like it's always been planned by the universe. There's something you all have been orchestrating and you don't realize it don't matter how many plans you come up with. The universe has not approved any of those plans. You're wasting your time, your money, your, 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 your energy. You're wasting all of it. Nothing. You don't have clearance in the universe to do any of those things. So you're going to have to move on and find something better to do with your time. And a lot of you are going through financial losses, poverty, divorces, separation, all kinds of stuff. And you're still out here trying to what manipulate the justice system. But honey, please. They see they know the truth. I don't care how deep you think there's, there's a mother figure or wife figure out here that's crying behind the scenes. Because, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There she go, right? Crying, worry, burden, because why? The truth is out and she's going to have to move on because whatever this karmic cycle is that she's been trying to farther or stretch out, it's over for a group and herself. It's over. This whole group is over. Sir, I don't care how deep you think your connections are in the police, the legal system, it's not deep enough. It's not deep enough. This could be you, King of Wands, Reverse, or the Queen of Swords. However deep you all think your uh, 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 connections are in the police department, it's a no. It's not deep enough. You got karma coming in. You want people to know that you are connected legally. 
It ain't legal. It's illegal. So you've been misusing some type of connection in the police department. This could be a man or woman I'm talking to. And you thought nothing was ever going to come out. It's coming out. It's a no for you, the whole group. All the work you've been putting in, it's a no. It's a no. Okay? It's a no. All your rituals, your manipulations, the lies, connecting with people in different communities. Because this is what you've been doing, this three of pentacles to the three of wands. You've been leaving your community to go connect with other communities to what? Block someone's future. Block someone's opportunities. Yes, some of you say, if I can't have you, no one can have you. I say you were unsuccessful. You were incompetent. So that is what you are. I'm going to lie and say that you did this when I know you didn't do it. Filed and false police reports. You all been working together for a long time to block someone's future. And it ain't going nowhere. Going nowhere. The only thing that is happening is that you are going through problems after problems. And you've been trying to cause problems. What? Again, to a star C and their partner coming together, and it keeps coming to coming out the same way. They are still coming out together. Having a new beginning together. And they will be successful. And while they're going off on their own, you'll all still be out here fighting amongst yourself. Because what's about to be happening to you all, or what's already going on, is what I'm being told. It's nothing short of a nightmare. You have a king of pentacles out here that lost everything because of greed. Yeah, lost everything because of greed, because of hate, animosity, bitterness. A man that just refuses to heal and see things from a higher perspective. So he self sabotages out here. This is someone you'll meet and he, you'll see him in like a knight of pentacles energy. He comes across as someone very sturdy, someone very hardworking. But the truth is being illuminated about him that he ain't nothing but a joke out here. Nothing but a joke. Someone is like a boy on the inside, but pretends to be mature on the outside. Everything you say triggers him. Even if it has nothing to do with him. And this is why I said when you get online to watch terror readings, make sure you have your mind, your mental stable. Because at any time we can say something that's going to resonate with you. And then you end up taking it personal and say, well, oh, he's talking about me. She's talking about me. They ain't talking about you. It's a general reading. But this man is out here being a clown. self sabotaging his whole life. Feeling entitled to anything because he had a little bit of coins. Now all the coins have been taken away. What you gonna do now, Billy? What you gonna do? You may be out here begging now. Trying to get money from people to keep doing. That's the part that I don't get. You're going through endings, but you're still trying to collect donations and stuff. You're trying to get someone to help you. They ain't gonna help you. It said, man, I just need a little bit of money, man, so I can pay to finish what I started. They ain't helping you. He's not helping you because he sees exactly what it is you've been doing out here to a temperance energy, hindering their investments and things like that. The heck is wrong with you? Heck is wrong with you? And then you got a king of wands that wants to come in and give a temperance energy on offer. They don't want that offer because it's not leading to nothing but disappointments. I'm telling you, someone is getting a new offer from someone they've never met before, never been with before, unassociated with so that they can be successful. It's a whole new offer. It's not coming from a warlock. So let's put it that way. It ain't coming for, from a warlock. Because we know these warlocks come in to give you an offer with some type of material motive. It usually has to do with SEX. When you don't give it to them, what? They are disappointed because what? Now, everything they were planning for you is not going to come into fruition. It's a failure. So what? This cycle is over. The Empress energy as well. The people they have at home. Because oftentimes these men are married. Sitting back there crying and everything, worry because they think you stole their man the whole time. You don't want nothing to do with their man. Even though the man is for the community, community D. They say, oh, she's, she's separated by home. She's causing destruction in my home. But it's a no, sis, your, your husband is the one causing destruction in your home. If your husband is the one leaving your home to go have multiple options outside. You ever thought of seeing it that way? Why you worry? You should never. And this is what immature women don't understand. 
And when you're in a relationship with a man and he will get out of that relationship to go live with another person because he wants to have options. Look at him, not the woman. You never address the woman. You always address, always address your community meet. It don't got nothing to do with that woman. Most of the time, that woman don't even know that man is married because some of you, your husbands get out here, take the ring off their fingers so no one knows that they're married and then come in and talk to you and you don't know they're married the whole time. What's that video that woman made? Who the heck did I marry? Man was, what? The, misleading her the whole time. It's something like that. A woman out here, her husband has been out here pretending to be single. There's, there's someone in this community going through this. Her husband acts like he's single, does not wear a wedding ring or nothing. And he goes out giving love offers to people. And then she wants to be out here crying wolf. He likes to have options. He likes to have options and it weighs her down. But she got no one to blame but the man. Because what? She's the one that settled for that. He likes to have options, I'm telling you. And she's not she's not all right with it. But she's put up with it for a long time. So what? He keeps doing it. You, you can't blame the other woman for that. You told that man you were okay with it the first time you let him do it. And you took him back. He's out here living as a whole bachelor. <laughs> Married, but living as a bachelor. And you know why he does it? Because you allow him to do it and get away with it the first time. The first time should have been the last time. It should have been the last time. And this is why some of us stay single. Because the moment I find out you what, you stepped out, goodbye. You want to be a bachelor? Hey, go ahead and be a bachelor. And this is something also with me. Oh, baby. I can be in a relationship with you before you cheat. I'll know because I'll see it in a dream before it comes into fruition. When you're cheating, I'll see it in the dream. After you're done, if there's a baby coming out of that, I'll see that too. And when I find, when I know all of that, I'll find out, honey, you won't even understand because I'll just start slowly pulling back. It don't happen too many times. So once I get with someone and I see their first dreams, start pulling back. You want to be a bachelor? Here, go ahead and be a bachelor. Go ahead and be a bachelor. There's a high priestess, I'm telling you, in a community or someone that partner up with a high priestess, she could be on YouTube or whatever. She's going through disappointment because there's some type of magic she's been working that's not going for that's not working out because you're still moving forward. Uh-huh. You're still moving forward. There could be something with a legal with the legal system. Someone may have legal issues coming in because she was found out. Someone found out that she's been doing some type of ritual behind the scenes. So it's like someone having proof that someone has been doing black magic to block another person or interfere with another person's life. So it's like someone may end up getting locked up for doing black magic. Lord have mercy. Someone's going to get locked up for doing black magic. She has legal issues coming in with this freaking chariot followed by the king of swords. Oh yeah, you got legal issues coming in. What? Can you imagine being locked up and people ask you, what you in here for? For doing black magic. What? For what? Girl, why were you doing black magic? Oh, I didn't want someone to receive offers in life. I didn't want them to be abundant. And they're going to look at you like a joke. That's when the inmates start talking about, hey, Maria, ooh, abracadabra. Shh. Abracadabra. Shh. Boy, those inmates are going to have them a few days. Oh, yeah, they're going to have a few days. <laughs> Causing a conflict. Ooh. Hey Maria, how could you? <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> it didn't work. Oh shoot! Let us know if it works. <laughs> oh Lord, there's someone. I'm telling you, there is someone in someone that has some type of connection in the police department and they're, they're famous using that someone's brother could be a police officer someone's friend a long time friend 15 years 20 years 40 years something like that in the police department has been helping them set something up set someone up okay to get and cut up 
and then you get caught up and you're you're there trying to talk to the police station talk to the interrogators the investigators and you don't know the whole time they're all in on it all in on it and so now you're trapped and don't got no one to turn to because what you're in a situation where everybody's in on it. So you're just talking to ears that are not even in, even listening. It goes in one ear and out the other. Is that eventually he'll catch on to what it is that's going on. Eventually he'll realize that we already know. We know he didn't do it, but hey, got to make my money. That's what's going on. Queen of Wands, I don't told you, girl, you're going to get locked up. Better quit playing around. It still keeps coming out the scene. All these rituals and lies and manipulations you're doing. You may want to fall back. You may want to fall back. I hear trying to block an empress from moving forward. This empress ain't trapped. <laughs> this empress ain't trapped. Their work is not trapped. They will be elevated by the right person, by the divine in the right time. This empress is not trapped. That's what I'm being told to tell you all. They ain't confused. They're not isolated. They don't feel isolated. They don't feel rejected because this is someone that's in the upright and is supported by the universe. This is a healer for God's sake. Extremely gifted, in touch with the inner child, a temperance energy. So this is why you all are always dis disappointed when you take action to come after this woman, it leads to a tower. This is Sagittarius going through an ending, may be disappointed that someone is not going through a tower or they weren't able to cause an Empress energy, a tower, so that they could lose everything, lose their Ten of Pentacles, right? Maybe they may want to come in and speak their truth. There's something where it's like a man, I don't know if it's this Sagittarius, but what I'm picking up is that there's a man they had a contract with a, a Empress Energy, higher, uh, higher fin, uh, High Priestess Energy, right? They had a contract together, a soul contract together, and he's low vibrational. So he met this woman that's in the upright. He doesn't want to be with someone in the in the upright. So instead, he either went and got married to someone else and was expecting to get some type of blessing. He said, okay, so I got married now. Where's my blessing? The universe is said, nah, your blessing was with the high priestess, the empress energy, because they're the ones that's abundant. It ain't this person you married. Just because you got married does not mean that you're going to receive abundance. It's who the abundance is attached to. It has to do with the lineage. It, and this is the God's honest truth. It has to do with the lineage and their ability to manifest. This is something he didn't know. So he went and partnered up possibly with a queen of, a queen of cups, queen of pentacles, whoever this is, queen of wands, I believe. Thinking that it was going to be successful, but it's not going to be successful. They're going to have to move on. If he ended up getting married, then he's just trapped in a marriage that's unfulfilling. And this Empress energy... I think there's also a woman behind the scenes that's no longer trapped in her mind about some type of separation, some type of divorce or whatever. Good for you, honey, because whoever you were with, one worth your time. Or if maybe you are karmic like them, you two are going to have the opportunity to heal or you will have the opportunity to heal. Okay. You will have the opportunity to heal. Move on. Find someone worth your time. Because that's a waste of time being in a relationship. And a man is just out here with everybody. Weighing you down every day. Because he wants to have options. Every day he's communicating with people. Creating relationships that ain't going nowhere. All he wants to do is live with people. So every day he's breaking your heart. Causing you endings. At some point you are, you become numb. Numb as heck. So then you get out and things talking another woman. is going to bring some type of justice or balance for you. Nah. You are being told that what? Move on with your life so you can find some type of solid commitment if that's what you want. But you're wasting your time stalking another woman online. Having anxiety and stuff like that. For what? You know your husband's been like that for years. That's the thing. These women, they always know. Ain't a woman that's being cheated on that don't know. You know. What some of them do is pretend like they don't know because it's too hard, uh, too heavy for them to face and accept. Especially the ones that allow their partners to bring other people into the bedroom. Ain't no one ever okay with that. 
I guarantee you ain't no one ever okay with that. With their husbands were having options and things like that, or their wives having options, no one is okay with that. But there's something where it's like they have some type of clouded mindset where they think, if I let them do what they want, then you know, we can, we'll stay to, you're not together already, but we'll stay together and you know, the family union will be together. Um, the money is okay. As long as they come, girl, please, sir, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're lying. To, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. There's a king, king of swords out here now listening to his intuition. This could be like a police officer's uh, someone in the upright or just a king of swords, some type of authority figure in a community that's now deciding to listen to his intuition, has foresight. This man sees clearly now with this three of wands and the king of swords followed by the high priestess. He sees clearly now. Not only does he see the physical, he's seeing the spiritual. Now, someone is listening to their intuition and they see everything these people have been doing. He's seeing what they're going through behind the scenes. He's seeing what the family members are going through behind the scenes because they came for you. All the illusions, everything. He's seeing the, the ramification. Like someone is sitting back and seeing karma played out. Seeing karma played out. He said, like, God dang, why be darned? He sure warned them. She sure warned them. They didn't listen. I'm telling you, their plans are failing. There's a high priestess. She keeps coming up. She does things for money, right? She thought she was going to get some type of offer or something like that. Someone does things for money. And that's not why we're out here. When it comes to intu intuitive gifts, spiritual gifts, that's not why we're out here. She does things for money. Someone is having a hard time recovering because she did some type of ritual that backfired on her horribly. So now she's out here in balance, can't contain herself, living in fear and anxiety. Waste of talents, waste of gifts. Just a waste. This ain't why you're out here, girl. This is, you're about to be like shut down. Like the universe is about to shut you down. Like aren't your gifts off, off, click, 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 everything off. Is that all you thought you, what? You don't want to introspect and see things clearly. You don't want to what, uh, 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 self-actualize. Don't want to make no, no right decisions. You want to be out here causing still myths and interfering with what karma. This ain't what I put you down here for girl. Off, 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 off. Everything is off. Everything is off. How are you going to be out here being hopeful that you can hit in other people? What? And then wanting to pretend that you're in the upright whole time you know you're a disappointment. Going through financial like. All you, you, all you do is work for money. You work for money. You may want to be careful because you may end up passing away because you're messing with the wrong bloodline. And you know there are some certain bloodlines you just don't fool with. You look at them and say, mm, must be nice and move on. Especially those ones that have those Egyptian bloods in them. I'm telling you, whatever plan you had, baby, it ain't going in your favor. You've been trying, planning to temper with justice and things like that. It ain't going in your favor. It's a disappointment because the heavenly host, the spirit realm, honey, they've been hovering over you and watching you, stuck on you. Like, why don't rise? They say, oh. Oh, Elizabeth, that ain't why we give you those gifts. We thought you were ready to live the right way. We don't give in, we've given you time and time and time to get on the right path. And you still don't want to. You know what? We're going to take everything and keep it. And then this is you. Baby, especially those people that come from those Egyptian bloodlines, you don't mess with them. Don't mess with them. Because I'm ancestors, they just be waiting on sight. I'm just waiting for you to bust a move, Maria. I'm just waiting for you to bust a move, Warlock, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just waiting for you. I'm telling you, they're just waiting for you. Ready to cause distress in your life. And they said we got options on how we can do this. Actions. We got options and what actions we can take. To temper with your life. Playing Russian roulette. Arr, boop. Brr, boop. There's a king of pentacles reverse. That's finding that out the hard way. 
you know, whole man that's into gossiping, gossiping about women, just be out here lying and stuff, going through heartbreak. Ancestors said, yeah, we got one for you. They were sitting back and letting the man do something for a long time. They said, we're going to let him keep talking, keep lying, keep trying to cause towers in her life, thinking he's coming in to give her some type of love offer so that he can secure his future. Little do he, does he know he needs to stand down, stand back because he's about to be what? Disappointed. Don't care how committed he is. Baby, your future, you see those beggars right there that that man is giving to? It's about, this is about to be you going to people, asking them, hey, will you borrow me $200? I'll pay you next week. I mean, I don't know if I got it. Will you borrow me $5? But baby, you about to go from asking for $10,000 to asking for $5 because it's about to be so hard. It's about to be a hard knock life for you. It's so hard. You know, you need to listen to some Jay-Z. That brother be playing, be, 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 you know, he be doing his thing. He, he's a good artist. I like these celebrities' music. There are, I don't give two hits about them. I don't know nothing about them. I don't care who they slept or who they didn't sleep with. The music is good. Okay, that's all I care about. The acting is good. That's all I care about. All that other stuff, that's for the birds. And if I'm saying that, you know I've grown because I used to. There's a time in my life where I started a YouTube channel. I was going to do commentary on celebrities, honey. I did it for a while. I said, this, I don't care about this stuff. I don't care about these people's lives. They make good music, do good acting. That's all I care about. I stopped doing that sucker. Anyways, here we are today. Here we are today. So she's, she, she, her plan, she was planning to interfere with justice. But there's something that does, whoever this justice system is, this could be a lawyer. They may be trying to take from him, trying to sneak him. This could be someone in the court system, like a, a judge or something. They're plotting something on this man. But there's some type of, there's some secret, something this man is holding on to or this woman is holding on to that they don't know. He, he or she is protecting something. Could be the ace of pentacles offer. Something that belongs to someone else. So you have a high priestess out here that's doing rituals and things like that to force something to go her way. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Trying to force something to go her way. It ain't going your way. There's something... I don't know who this official is. This could be a lawyer, a judge, a police officer, a high-ranking police officer. Could be an FBI agent. Whoever this is, CIA, DEA, any other kind of A, whatever you want to think of. There's something that they are planning and nobody knows, right? Nobody knows. And the moment a group takes action to do something, it's going to be lights out for them. But you also have a crooked official that is working in partnership with these people so you all need to be mindful of that you have a crooked officer or someone like that that's working with these people or this high priestess to hinder fit to hinder justice to hinder karma it ain't going in your favor i'm telling you the truth is out this person is still going to be receiving it whatever it belongs wherever belongs to them you're wasting your time it's a disappointment. Every time I hear that, that there's a high priestess that's out here doing stupid stuff like this. Even though you're going through endings, having a hard time recovering from those spell works that are backfiring, you're still out here committed to your rituals. You're, you're dumb. You are dumb. And the high priestess you're coming after, they're still receiving their abundance. They're still in the upright. People are still seeing them as in the upright. I don't know if you tried to do some type of ritual to separate a high priestess from their community, from their uh, uh, purpose, their destiny. You're dumb as heck. Dumb as heck. There's, and then what I'm also picking up is this uh, king of swords that's a practitioner as well. And it ain't going well for him either. I remember I had a dream a while back. There's a king of swords that someone hired to... Like he was trying to get into my Akashic records and then there's something where he was trying to bind my soul in the spirit realm. Like he was trying to lock me up or something or he was trying to access something. And like I told, I looked at him, I told him, I said, oh, you're not getting in there. So I think he was trying to access my Akashic record, but baby, that sucker was so sealed 
Oh, it was sealed, sealed. Came in and then tried to lock up, bind my soul because someone hired him. There's someone that does some type of magic with the family overseas or people overseas that they have connections. They call people overseas. I don't know if they speak Swahili or some type of language. Uh, one of our African people speak and they don't know they've been being recorded when they call home to mom, call home to sister, call home to dad, call home. Everything has been being recorded. So I don't know if it was them that hired some type of uh, practitioner, a king of swords to come in and do someone something. They said, we want you to block everything from them. I've been in this person's life for 10 years, six years, seven years, however long. And I'm solely here to block their destiny. And their king of swords, no, 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 no. Whoever this is in this situation, it ain't going out in your favor. Yeah, yeah. Someone's definitely like someone literally went and hired a king of swords. And I wasn't supposed to see him, not know what it is he was there to do. And I kept looking at him and telling him, like, sir, you're not getting in there. Like, accessing my Akashic records? No, 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 no. You ain't getting in there. You're not getting that. You're not allowed. I and my ancestors are the only ones allowed in there. So you're not getting in there. And he looked so pissed off. It said he was angry that I knew what he was there to do. And, like... The moment he realized that I knew what he was there to do, like everything was just dismantled. We went from him trying to uh, get into my Akashic records, trying to bind my soul in the spirit realm to talking about groceries or something. I'm like, the heck is this? Like, the, get the heck out. Like, I was just done with him. He went from, like, I don't know if I wasn't supposed to see who he was. He went from being my enemy to wanting to be a lover in the dream. Like, the heck is this? Like, what the heck are you people on out here? Like, you were hired to take me down. What the heck are you talking about living together and stuff in a whole... Sir, sir, come on. Come on. You're supposed to be a whole practitioner. And this was before I was even, like, this woke on my journey. And you say you're a whole high-ranking uh, practitioner. But you want to go from being someone's enemy to their lover in a whole dream. Done, but we can move in together, live together. I don't want to live with you. Like, you know, you do know that I see you wet, right? You know I see you. You see me, I see you. Okay. But there's a whole family. There's a masculine that calls overseas to order spiritual or ritual uh, uh, services that like his family they're into rituals. They've been doing this their whole life. They're into rituals. And he thought no one knew what he was doing. Little does he know, phone calls are being recorded. It don't matter if you speak in Swahili, African, uh, Ibu, whatever it is you're speaking. They, they got people that can translate. It's the justice system, honey. They got everything. They may not want us to know, but they got everything. So you can speak Swahili today, Ibu tomorrow. Whatever you want to speak, they got people that can translate. They got people. So nothing is a secret. So now you, you, there are two different King of Swords in here. One is a practitioner. And there are nothing, he's, nothing he was hired to do is going to work. And then you got another King of Swords that has foresight of everything that's been going on. And he's just staying quiet and watching these people take action. And when the time comes, I guess he will, he'll bust a move. Whoever this law official is, there's someone trying to do him something so that he does not take some type of action. And then you also have a crooked law official in the system. Okay. It's a group of them that work together. They've been doing this for a long time. They do this as a favor. I, I just heard separate. They may be separating themselves from someone that's been asking them to do something stupid. Like they're starting to honor their badges or they just don't want to be part of the situation because too much is coming out. It's like people plan to do something before they do it is exposed. Or something could be going on right now that they just can't afford to be part of this. So whatever this is, they're plotting another, re planning another ritual with that, um, Six of Wands, 
follow about the moon. They're planning another ritual. They're planning another attack. They're planning another whatever this is. It's not going to work. They can take action when they want to. It's just going to backfire on the group. It's just going to backfire. I don't know what this empress is about to do. It's going to backfire again. This is like a, this woman here. Now, this is in the one that is moving on with her life, choosing to self-actualize and heal. This one here, there's something she's doing. And I'm going to leave this for next time because I want them to keep taking these actions so that they can keep experiencing karma. Because when you keep telling these people not to do something and they keep doing it, you're helping them in a way. Because what? They're seeing what it is they're going to be doing and then they go to practitioners to protect them from spell works. I'm not helping you. We need you to take that action so that you can get your karma. We ain't about to be out here blocking your karma. No, 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 no. Um, so we have fe uh, fear of failure. I don't know who in our collective is struggling with this. Uh, we're going to need you to calm down on that. that. That's not the energy we reside in. When you serve the most high, you live for the most high, and you say you are part of the collective soul tribe, we don't live in this energy. So we're going to need you to dismantle that immediately. Immediately, immediately. It's a fear of failure. See uncertainty as an opportunity for growth. Have courage to try. So I don't care how high that mountain is or how high it seems, put in the effort and try. Try, try, try. I don't care what it is. Try, okay? We have the airplane, okay? So with the airplane, you may be receiving some type of good news. You will. You are receiving some type of good news. Some of you are about to be receiving some type of promotion you weren't even expecting. This is what your enemies have been trying to block. You know why they're trying to block it? Because what? If you are a star C, right, and you are naturally abundant, but people have worked so hard together, right, to block your future, block offers, block opportunities. They don't want you being a healer. They don't want you being healed. They want you in some type of anxious state right? Um, living in isolation, being rejected and things like that, just living in darkness, uh, things like that. You have a hard, th hard time producing, manifesting, receiving and things like that in that energy. But your ancestors, your angels are telling you that's not your energy with this airplane coming out here. You also may be going on some type of trip. I don't know if it's a vacation or you're going to be invited somewhere, and it's going to lead to some type of offer for you. Maybe you're going to be moving and things like that. Like someone is coming towards you or you're going to be receiving some type of news that's going to lead to you moving or going somewhere and it will be abundant for you. But always see things from a higher perspective. Try to analyze everything, every offer, every opportunity, analyze it before you accept it because you don't want to jump out of the hot pot into the fire. Okay. But again, we don't want you living in fear. We are just telling you to self-actualize, analyze, introspect. A lot of the times, all we have to do is introspect. And these kind of people, they don't want you introspecting because when you introspect, you listen to your intuition. When you listen to your in intuition, 10 out of 10 times, you make the right move. And that's why there are people in a community that don't want these kind of people self-actualizing because what... They will start to listen to their intuition and say, mm -mm, I don't want to be a part of this. You see this three of pentacles followed by this eight of swords in the reverse. There are people in this group that are self-actualizing now and removing themselves from this collaboration because they already know it ain't going nowhere. This is nothing but a dark uh, 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 mistake that they should not be part of. And there's a man trying to hide or he's been trying to hide his karma that's playing out and they can see clearly is what I'm hearing. It's like they can see it clearly on his face, his life. Things are just downward spiraling. Things are not going in his favor. And that is because of what he did to someone. And he's been out here pretending that he's in the upright. No, you're not. There could be even like a, a, a PI in a community that has went haywire. Like he was placed in a community to do some type of investigation and he's gone haywire. It said add some colors to your life. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, so maybe you've been wearing too much black or too much gray. Add colors. Uh, maybe you've been living in like negativity, some type of self-imposed impri self -imposed imprisonment. You need to get out of that. Get out into the sunlight. Like yesterday, my kids and I, we went for a walk. 
okay? We went for a walk. We like to go out in, like, nature and things like that, walk the trails. So we went for a good walk yesterday, and, honey, it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful, okay? So some, add some joy, some sunshine, something in your life. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.